Yeah, Chip is a quickie, so to speak. That battery pack has been charging all day, 28.6 volts. Under charge, charging at 30 amps there. We've got uh, clouds coming in and out all day, so we've got a bit of cloud edge happening. The batteries have only got another 57 amp hours left until they're fully charged. There's no heat in any of the packs. There's no heat in any of the connectors. And um, the, this one was 4.06, and I think most of the rest of them were 4.04, or very close to that voltage. So I'm really happy with the way this is going. There is no BMS attached. I am not doing a BMS uh, for this little test. This is a, I wasn't even gonna video this one. This is a personal test. I just wanna, I, I wanna know what happens when I discharge them all at the same level and then I charge them all back up to the same level. My theory is they're gonna be right. I don't know, I wanna test that for myself. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes today. Uh, what's the time? I don't have a time because it's on my phone. It must be about one o'clock in the afternoon. So we've still got another few more hours of um, good solar kicking in. Uh, 1.2 kilowatts. So those batteries are all coming up, almost up to charged. At 40 amps, it shouldn't take but another hour and a half or so to charge off. Maybe a little bit longer because it'll ramp down. Right, one more thing, tubers. I thought I'd grab this thermal camera out before I, I took it back. So you can see from in between 22 and 30, 30 degrees. So it's not much different from yesterday. There's no heat there at all. There's a, where that red is there, that's 26 degrees. That's actually, that's the mount. So it's not even the batteries themselves that are, that are hot. But the charge controller on the other hand, she's a little bit warm, cranking away. And actually see through the through the vents in the side there, where the heat is. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, the old thermal imaging camera has got to go back this afternoon, so I won't have access to it anymore. It's a pity because it's um, uh, it turns out to be a bloody fantastic tool. You've got to hold it still to get a real reading, but you, you can see that there's no heat in those cells at all. Bloody fantastic. Anyway, YouTube. Thanks again. I'll see you later.